Welcome back, Seahawks, to Anna's final edition of Seahawks Central News, your source for the latest in UNCW news and entertainment. I'm Aki Suzuki. And I'm Anna Phillips. This week, we will be taking a look at a local attempt to break a Guinness World Record, as well as a mini festival hosted on campus. We will also be discussing a recent celebrity sighting and local filmmakers' insightful new documentary. Stay tuned because Seahawks Central News starts right now. People gathered from all over Wilmington last Sunday to support the UN Women's Walk to End Violence Against Women and Girls. The walk is hosted by the USN CUN Women every year across the country in an attempt to raise awareness of gender-based violence. UNCW Women's Studies and Resource Center partnered with UN Women to host the walk at Huma Cray Park. Funds raised went to programs to end violence against women. The North Carolina chapter of UN Women dedicated this event to a UN Women board member and president of the Wilmington chapter of Lynx Incorporated, Yolanda Norwood. Seahawks are pushing the limits with push-ups. On Friday, May the 2nd, UNCW students will be attempting to break the world record for the most people doing push-ups at once. The event is called Push Up For What and will be held at the Student Rec Center. Two expert witnesses, two timekeepers, and a witness from the Guinness will be present for the attempt. The team of witnesses will ensure that students are doing proper push-ups to guarantee accuracy for the record books. Students are required to do as many push-ups they can in 60 seconds, whether that be 3 or 30. The last day of classes is always full of activity and excitement. This year was no exception as Physical Graffiti performed their annual dance showcase at 8 p.m. The UNCW Hip Hop Dance Crew performed for free in Keenan Auditorium. The showcase featured all of their dances from the 2013-14 school year, as well as performances by guest acts. Wilmington celebrated the Earth this past Saturday with the annual Earth Day Festival. The festival featured environmental-related booths and activities for people of all ages, and included food vendors and live music. Guests could also take part in contests to win environmental-friendly prizes, such as kayaks and a rain barrel. The theme of this year's event was Clean Water Starts Here. Attendees learned more about becoming environmentally friendly at the day-long festival. As Aki said in the beginning, this is my last and final episode, as well as a lot of other final things at the end of the year. What do you have going on? I have a lot of exams. My meal swipes are pretty much over. <laughs> have you used all your food dollars? Oh, they're gone. I'm just begging people to feed me at this point. Oh, same. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Michael Sarah has hit the streets for filming in Wilmington. The actor famous for movies such as Superbad, Juno, and most recently, This is the End, is in town for his latest project, How and Why. The NWFX comedy features Sarah as a man who can explain how and why a nuclear reactor works, but is clueless about life. After losing his job hosting a children's science show, he attempts to start over in a little TV market where he encounters the supernatural world. It looks like UNCW Chancellor Gary Miller could be leaving the school. Chancellor Miller is among the top six finalists in interviews for the president position at Youngstown State in Ohio. University Relations has said that Chancellor Miller hopes this will not interfere with the upcoming graduation and other exciting end-of-year festivities. The Face Age Project is returning to UNCW in the form of a documentary surrounding the physical characteristics, experiences, and concepts of aging. Face Age originally debuted as a three-screen installation in 2012. This time around, Face Age will use exercises and activities to engage participants in conversations regarding how they perceive their age and how they think others perceive them. UNCW film student Sarah Flores, who is involved in the project, says the film will definitely inspire people to accept life for what it is and learn to value every aspect of it. Face Age seeks participants between the age of 18 to 24 and 65 years or older. It films on May 15th. So recently there's been a lot in the news about the mailbox on Wrightsville Beach that was taken down because of vandalism. Recently, the student ambassadors of UNCW put up a new one. Aki is a student ambassador, so what can you tell us about it? And we just really wanted to get involved in not just being a part of standing up for the university, but also the Wilmington community in general. And I feel the mailbox was just a big part of supporting the community and allowing you know everyone in the community to go out and drop by and kind of contribute to the history of this area. It's really cool that we can do something as a campus that affects individuals in the community more than just charity or fundraisers or events. You know, individual people go to the mailbox for very personal reasons and that's an exciting thing to be a part of. 
Definitely. I think it's just something nice that people can kind of do on their own and also do with friends. So definitely recommend going out and making yourself a part of Wilmington history. One Tree Hill actor Michael Grubbs is coming back to Wilmington, not to film a One Tree Hill reunion, but to perform with his band Wakey Wakey. Grubbs spent years as a struggling musician in New York until he landed the role of a musically inclined bartender, Grubbs, on One Tree Hill. In addition to his role, Wakey Wakey's music was also featured on the show and reached critical acclaim with the song Almost Everything I Wish I'd Said the Last Time I Saw You. Now a successful alternative pop group, Wakey Wakey will perform at Orton's in Wilmington on May 2nd. Well, Seahawks, that's all we have time for this episode. Until next time, I'm Aki Suzuki. And, and for the last time, I'm Anna Phillips saying so long, Seahawks. Wait, can we flap? Oh, it's really sad. Oh, I, <laughs> oh, I don't want to cry, though. I want to oh. take pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. Sweet. There will Everyone be no tears. <laughs> <laughs>